hello everyone welcome to yet another tutorial today we are going to look at how to create a dice in Maya uh, mainly we are going to look at uh, texture mapping uh, how to create UV maps to create a dice that looks like this so let us get started we'll go to file new scene don't save so we'll create our dice first so I'm going to go to poly modeling and create a cube and then we are going to go to edit mesh bevel and we are going to use 0.15 to create a smaller bevel and we will use four segments so it's nice and smooth okay so that's going to be our dice we need to assign a texture map to this dice so right click go to assign new material and we'll use Lambert and rename it dice. Okay, so we'll assign an image for this dice. Go to File, click here, and I'm using this image. So what you can do is go to Google and look. I search for wooden dice texture map. If you want, you can use this one. Let us work on this one. Uh, actually, it has some artifacts, but we can still use it. I'm going to save image as, and we'll call it desktop. Yes. Okay, so we saved the image. We'll go to Photoshop. Go to File Open and Desktop. Open the image. What we will do is we will Select this area, Control C, Control V, copy paste it on the side, edit, transform, scale, make it bigger. Let me paste it on this side, make it big. And I'm going to select this middle one. I'm going to edit, fill, content aware. So I get rid of that middle part. Okay, so we'll put all the edges in this area and then we'll place things here. So we'll go to File, Save, JPEG, and save it as dice. Okay, and then we will look at the image and open it up. Six to see how the image looks. So you can see that some of the areas are there, some of the areas are not there. So select the cube, go to edit, delete by type history. So we just have the cube. Now I'll go to UV, UV editor. Okay, so you can see that if I right click go to face, all these faces are map like this. So we'll go to UV automatic mapping. I need to select UV automatic mapping and then I'll move it aside and then you can see that everything is out there so I'll select go to UV shell select each shell and I'm going to put it on top of each other okay. 
and these tiny parts I will put it in the edge here okay so all these will go in this area okay and then we can scale it and we can place it in an area where it maps properly okay so we'll go to object mode and you can see that the dice is mapped like this right now okay and then now we need to put each of these faces properly in the right area so right click and go to face select any one face and now if you move it you can see that it's connected so we'll go to uv and we'll go to cut uv edges once you cut it for some reason it still shows connected but if i click here now and drag it is separate okay so let us put it in one okay it's a little difficult to see r so you can scale it big and you can put it outside if you want so it will get that let us just put it inside I think that is faster for now okay so one is done then we will select this face UV and then we go to cut UVs deselect click on that again and drag it okay and then you can scale it three is done one is done and then you continue this for all the sides so go to uv cut uv deselect select w for move and move it around R okay and then this is done so either you will have to remove the dark areas or you will have to scale it small and try to do it properly okay so basically that's how you would be finishing all of the cube okay so your job will be to finish the rest of it and see how it looks the other texture that i used before was a better texture to work with it was much cleaner so try using this one or maybe any other texture and see what results you get Okay, so you go to object mode and you get the cube okay so that's about it thank you very much bye bye